hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jane this is the first time you see me thank you so much for stopping by if you are a return subscriber from my heart to you thank you so much for stopping by so today if you have not subscribed please subscribe ah, subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so when i put a video you get it thank you thank you thank you so today let me tell you guys something I'm a Nigerian YouTuber right here in uh, America. So the new news now that came out is, uh, say if you are visiting anywhere in Nigeria, if you are visiting anywhere in Nigeria, especially in Lagos and you are on traffic, be very, very careful. I know the country is very hot. Most cars in Nigeria don't have a um, AC or oh, it's not working. I don't know, just say, um, Roll your glass up and uh, put your AC. Try and fix your cars because they are uh, kidnapping people from the traffic. They are robbing someone in the traffic and kidnapping people because of the type of traffic we have in Nigeria. So be very, very careful if you go to Lagos. So now nah, war zone be that. So don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say Lady Jane didn't tell you. So I write my stuff down. That's why you see me looking down. Thank you so much. Another one is, they are saying, <laughs> I didn't say that. Men said they would rather marry uh, a, an illiterate, somebody who didn't go to school at all, that will come and help them and listen to them and work with them than all of you that are spending all your money going to school. <laughs> they said, Graduates now, they no get sense. The school get into their head. They come, they said, do you know what school that I have gone to? So they said that they don't pay you guys any mind anymore, all the school that you are going. They would rather take somebody that didn't go to school than take the graduates. Mm. I didn't say, oh, so please parents, Send your children to school. Don't mind all these mumu people who are looking for a house cleaner and say that they, they, are, they, they don't want to marry graduates. Why won't they marry you guys graduate? So present yourself. It depends on how you present yourself, how you carry yourself out there, whether you be graduate or whether you are undergraduate, whichever one you are. Carry yourself well, behave, the, give, put the best in you, and the right person will come in your life god bless you guys my dear did you guys hear that uh, 80 more children after the uh, your Buhari came out and said that they have delivered the uh, the um uh, they have released the uh, children that was kidnapped in uh <clears throat> castina they took another 80 <laughs> They took another 80 children because of the ransom. They ransom oh, this person will kidnap this person. The government will make ransom with them and they will come and kidnap another one. So my people, hold your children or oh, hold your children because you don't have money that the government have that they are using to uh, keep Boko Haram in business. Bandit, headsman. You do not have that kind of money. Nigeria is now in big business of keeping, uh, 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 what do you call them? Terrorists. It's so sad. Oh, Jesus. A new thing that came out of Americans said uh, that Nigeria now is producing more terrorists in Nigeria, that even the ISIS and all these uh, terrorists, other countries are going to Nigeria because they want to make Nigeria a Muslim state so that uh, they can control Nigerians. So they are busy and they have uh, contacted Nigerian leaders about all this and they are not saying anything. And nobody wants to go and put themselves or their lives in danger if the country that you are coming to help is not even cooperating with the world. Mm, my dear. My dear, my dear, I don't know. It's so sad. It's so sad. So let me tell you guys. 
that one go. Do you guys know that our House of uh, Representatives picked up a new, a new uh, law to debate in the House? Ask me now what they're debating. They want to debate how the undergrad, uh, oh no, not undergraduates, uh, what do they call them? Small children, underage children that were married in Awosa, that the Awosa people are uh, killing. They want to allow them uh, and um, for them to vote. They, are, they want INEC. INEC is the people that see about the election in Nigeria. They are lobbying INEC to allow the underage children, underage girls that was married in their, in their Fulani states to be allowed to vote. This is what our House of Representatives in Nigeria want to talk about instead of putting a law that will abolish marrying underage children. And our, and our people, the House of Representatives, want to debate on allowing them, encouraging marrying young children, 10, 9, 8. And a lot of these children has been destroyed damaged because their body is not developed enough to have children and that is what is happening in the northern area now somebody that have mouth somebody that all their children are in abroad going to school all their children are being raised to be adult enough and choose the men for themselves they will go and marry the young children of another person on that age that they passed in the house too now somebody brought it up for them to allow them to vote because there are so many of them somebody has the audacity to bring something like this in the house for them to debate instead of debating how we can get electricity instead of debating how we can get road instead of debating how we can get hospital instead of debating how we can get health care Instead of debating how we can have water, instead of debating how graduates can get jobs, they are debating how they can continue with underage children getting married and allowing them to vote. God will punish these people. <sighs> I'm really, really angered when I heard it. I'm really, really sad when I heard it. All these people that are making all these laws, none of their children are in the house in Nigeria. None. Zero. Their wives, their children are all in abroad. But they are busy making laws. Ah, oh, God Almighty. God Almighty. So, my lovely people, when I saw that, I cried. I cried for our people. Because the people that are doing these things, their children are not there. I cried. I cried. About two months ago, a house of rep was just passing by. Just because they saw them, or the innocent people that were going through this stupid army people, uh, shot at the boy, deleting the boy, because they came close to a house of rep. They use army and police to go on the road. You and I better not be on the road when they are passing by because the, the, people, the people are from another planet. I saw a video of uh, Aisha Yusuf uh, demanding for Mohamed Buhari to resign as a president or for the Senate uh, to <laughs> impeach him. Which people will impeach him more? Which people will impeach him? The people that are trying to make laws for underage children to vote? They are the people that will impeach him. And he doesn't have audacity to resign himself. When, um, what's his, what's that? Uh, 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 uh. Showore, Omoyele Showore was contesting election. He said after 100 days, if he has not done what he lined up to do, that he will resign. You think these people will do? They don't have the, the spine. They don't have balls. They don't have nothing. They cannot stand and talk. 
If it's in a place where people have sense, this president, the Senate would have picked it up and then they impeach him. Impeach you and throw you out. But no, who, who will impeach him anyway? Nobody can impeach him. They haven't finished uh, making laws for underage. They haven't finished making laws for... Um, uh, and it's, it's so funny that when they make laws for underage girls to be married, they don't make laws for underage boys to be married too. They make la age, uh, laws for underage children to be married to them, the old ones. Some of them in this Senate and in the House have these girls three, four, five, and in the name of Muslim that said that they will marry up to four wives. They carry all these little, little children in their houses, destroying them, will not allow them to grow up as children that they are. So my lovely people, and when I saw that, I, I, I couldn't, I, I, you just didn't sit well with me, and I just thought, and I come and let us know what the people in our country are doing. Thank you all so much for listening. I love you all. I know you guys will say, Jen, you never have good news. Because that's none. That's no good news. That's no good news. No good news. So most of the time now, I will be just doing, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's no good news coming from that country. As long as this Muhammad Buhari is concerned, there's no good news. As, well, as long as this senators and this uh, House of Reps are concerned, there's no good news. So, my lovely people, when you are in that country, be safe. When you are in that country, go take your sense and put it back wherever you left it with you. Because if you live without your sense, they could deal with you. If you live without your sense, these people will frustrate you until you cry. You see adults cry because of frustration in Nigeria. God richly bless you guys, my people. I love you, and I will always tell you guys the truth. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.